Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to Channel Island Diving. It's Saturday morning and we're about to go diving. And not a bad day it is too. The wind's blowing from the northeast, three to four, so it's a little bit choppy out. But as it's coming from the northeast, there's, uh, there's no swell. It's just a little bit choppy, as you can see. Not too, too bad. The sun's shining. And uh, first up, we're gonna go and dive the ammo wreck. Uh, sunk in World War II by British uh, Air Force. Yeah, it's a nice little wreck in 30, 32 meters of water. Yeah, I'll probably see about 35 on the bow, but well, we'll have a look, see what the fish life is like. I haven't been on it for a few weeks now, so yeah, let's get this uh, show on the road. And we'll see you down on the boat. Many thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the YouTube link. Uh, just want to try and get the numbers up a little bit more. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, uh, we'll see you down on the boat. Cheery bye. So today we're on the normal dive gear, which consists of a 12 litre pony bottle, uh, main tank, and a three litre pony bottle. I've got normal air inside these tanks. I don't do nitrox much. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. And how much have I got in the pressure gauge? 230 bar. <coughs> So if you times 232 by 12, that's how many litres of air I've got in my tank. I've got my uh, dry suit inflation hose, that one. My second stage regulator, apex regulator. Then my contents gauge and then my frosty power. And then on the pony bottle I've got small pressure gauge. My first stage and then my second stage there. And that's a purely a backup one. And then today we're using our anchor, stainless steel chain, and then onto 35 meters of line to a couple of buffs onto the surface. And then we'll chuck that down, and then we'll use that as our shot line to go up and down. Happy days. And the only ones here today is Paul Main Donald. Everybody else has gone either west or working, which is a bit shit for a Saturday to be fair. We should be wreck diving and there, nobody's coming. Such a shame. Right, hey, hey. Let's have a look at the plotter. So, we've got our plotter here, and what I'll do is I'll just zoom out and I'll show you the wreck position. So, we've got St. Petersport Harbour, and then the wreck site is just there. So, I'll go over to uh, To where the wreck site is. There it is, right there. So come outside beside Peterport Harbour, straight over from the lighthouse, and there she is, lying in 30 to 35 metres of water, depending on what the tide is. So we're coming off the high tide, which is two hours after high water, which means it's the highest point the wreck is going to be, and we'll probably see about 35 on the bow. Happy days. Oh, there's Paul, 18 Malik. And uh, morning. Good morning and welcome to Bullback Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 
I just done my dive, just got to get pool ready now. The visibility is lovely. A few fish swimming around, saw a nice female lobster, tried to grab it but she had berries so we put her back for another day to get those berries out, get some more babies. We don't take buried lobsters on this channel, not like some other channels I could mention but hello. <laughs> There's loads of scallops down the starboard side. Oh, there. Yeah, 
you're all good. So as you can see we've got St Peterborough Harbour and we're two, three hundred yards outside the harbour. Let's have a little look on the plotter. There we go. There's St Peterborough Harbour and there's us straight in the middle. Now you can understand why we can't do this wreck when the shipping comes in. Yeah, gets a little bit close and a little bit noisy for the big ones. But uh, yeah, hopefully Paul has a nice dive. Like I said, it was 36 meters on the on the bow, so a little one meter different than I thought. But I mean, you can spend most of your time at 27 meters on top of the wreck, which is really really nice depth. Lovely. There's Paul just coming back up the line now. Yeah, he's done his dive. I can just see these bubbles coming up the line so the wreck is over here and he's coming up the line like that to the bus. Yeah, hopefully he's had a nice dive and he's caught a few scallops I reckon. He would have gone around the bottom for sure. Yeah, that's all these air bubbles at the top there and that was him there. Lovely. Oh, just going to go and do our... Uh, our second dives now, so yeah, I'm gonna go and try and find some scallops. Might have a little look for a bottle and stuff, which is always a good one around these parts. We're still outside the harbour. And uh, yeah. Let's get ready and see what we can find. Beauty.
Uh, that's Paul dropped in now. Yeah, I got it myself a nice little bag of scallops. Look at that little beauty. It's, uh, oh, there's a few. Yeah, did all right there. Went down to 32 meters. Yeah, it was, uh, the visibility is really nice. Tide was drifting just south, so it was absolutely perfect heading down that way down south. Let's uh, throw the scallops out and have a little count. Not a bad little haul. Let's count them, see what Richard gets today. It certainly pays for the fuel, that's for sure. Well, that wasn't a bad little haul. 99 on one dive. Yeah, not bad at all. That certainly pays for the fuel this morning. But, like I say, Paul's down at the moment. So, yeah, let's see what he catches on his dive. I'm sure he'll get around the same or probably more because he's pretty good. Yeah. What a lovely day. Have a bit of a tidy up of the boat now. Pack my gear away. Looks really good though. Yeah, let's hope he's caught a few scallops. He certainly gets a lot happier when he's caught scallops and uh, yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Got a nice bag full by the look of it. Yeah, see what he's found. Yeah. Nice little bag full. Beautiful. That was that. Oh, a cracker. Lovely, eh? Give me a fucking oh, sorry. Give me a flipping more on to fish it. <laughs> well, you could you could just go tile in a bathroom or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather cut a leg off, I think. I think so. <laughs> Not a bad little haul for bulls. I reckon he might just beat me on the 99, but we'd never know. Never know how many smalls he's got, but yeah, it's got a few good ones by the look of it. Yeah, let's let him count and then we'll have a little run up of the scores. Oh, then how many? 57. Oh, 99. And 19 off the ammo rack. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's our diving done. Yeah, we've had two Kraken dives, so we've done the ammunition wreck, 36 metres of water, and then the scallop dive to 32 metres, coming down from the ammo wreck. Yeah, did 99 scallops, which is good. Look at that. Let's go home now, wash the gear out, and uh, get ready for going for a few beers and some food tonight. Lovely job. And uh, many thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.